This is a video of the blood sampling procedure produced as part of the Common Currency Project at the Dalhousie University Faculty of Medicine. Before beginning any procedure, be sure to wash your hands properly using the accepted technique and follow all applicable universal precautions in this procedure that involves protective eyewear and gloves. Today we'll demonstrate the technique of phlebotomy. The equipment necessary for phlebotomy is as follows. Protective gloves, protective eyewear, the necessary blood collection tubes, tourniquet, provodyne iodine solution and an alcohol swab for cleaning the skin, a piece of gauze to cover the site after, vacutainer holder and the vacutainer needle, and a piece of tape to secure the gauze. In order to use the vacutainer, we need to put the vacutainer needle inside the vacutainer holder. So I'm going to remove the clear end from the vacutainer needle. I'm going to insert it into the vacutainer holder, and it screws tightly into place. As with all procedures, we're going to use universal precautions, and for this procedure, they include protective gloves and protective eyewear. The site I've chosen is the antecubital, so I'm going to apply the tourniquet to the arm approximately three inches above the antecubital fossa, and I'll put that on like so. I'm going to ask my patient if she'd please make a tight fist for me, and I'm going to feel the area, and I can feel that vein nice there. I'm going to clean the area first with some povidine solution. Starting in the center and cleaning outwards, circular motion. Allowing that to dry, you can then clean the area again from the center and working outward in a circular motion with an alcohol swab. I'm going to rest the blood collection tube inside the vacutainer holder, just abutting the end of the tube to the needle. I'm going to remove the protective cap from the needle, looking again that I'm going bevel up, and at a very small angle, I'm going to insert the needle through the skin and into the vein. I'm now going to change the position of my left hand so that I'm steadying the vacutainer holder, and that enables me to push the tube into the needle, creating the vacuum and allowing the blood to flow. Once I've filled that tube adequately, I can pull it out of the holder, giving it just a little shake. Taking the second tube and again pushing the tube through the needle. This is my last tube, so when that gets to be about halfway full, I can release the tourniquet. I can pull the blood collection tube away from the needle, taking it out and again giving it a little shake. Take my two by two, put it over the site, and very quickly pull the needle from the vein. I can ask my patient to please put some pressure there. I'm now going to dispose of the vacutainer and the needle without recapping the needle into the appropriate sharps container. I'm going to take my blood tubes with the blood. I will label and requisition those and send them off to the lab. The last step is to come back to my patient. And we'll just put a piece of tape over the gauze. And we're done.